Scoop. A little drizzle. <laughs> Smear it on there like that. You shut up and unplug his ass. Did you unplug him? He'd tell him to shut his pie hole. And you and 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 it and your jelly jumps down. Take your spoon and your clock goes around and around. Like that. And your sandwich is made. Then you gotta put the lunch room ready to touch on it. <laughs> Makes it a beautiful thing. Grab your sack jack. Grab your sack jack. Might not be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's either really good for me, or I don't know. I haven't seen that a lot of folks, man. For everybody saying that this thing was gonna fish so tiny and oh, be like, where's everybody at? Lake Hira? Could be Lake Hira. Although you decided to go as far as you could go in the same well, like, you know, sometimes I lose my mind. He is barely hooked. I played him down like a well old banjo too, didn't I? deepest part of it it's about 10 foot deep out here I'm throwing like a little DT6 a brown back chartreuse sides crankbait and just kind of burning it over the top of 10 to 11 foot of water and there were some fish in here a lot of bait blowing back in here I thought it was be a good area to come start and get a few bites to try to settle down because when you get out on that big water and start that drifting you know it's so random out there and there's not much to do you know, and, and having attention deficit disorder as bad as I do, when I get out there, it's going to be bad. So I thought, come in here and try to catch a few, then ease out there, drift around, and try to catch a couple more big ones. But I think I think we're going to have a pretty good tournament, Tommy. I don't think they're grouped up as good as what you guys got to see last year, but I think the big ones are still in here, and they're going to bite. It's just going to be random. Oh, my God. Your hand on 
say. That does it for him. He might get weighed in. They were there yesterday. I see some on side of them and right there looking at them docks. That's fish right there. They might have come in with him, I don't know. You did not get to pee pee, did you? <laughs> no. I peed my pants. I stood out there and it was hung and I picked it up and it started wiggling. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I hope he moves fishes on. He's. I don't know what he's talking about. That feels really good. This is the spot where all them were yesterday. I come through cranking yesterday. Hung one, had several with it. Come back there and caught another, and it had some with it too. So I'm thinking that there's several out there. I ran like three or four really good spots this morning that had multiple bites. Oh. And I just, I had, they hadn't bit, so I don't know. Like the shallow fish is just smallmouth dude traveling. Uh -oh. Perch and bait. Maybe these are all stay. But these, these we found recently, these were yesterday morning. Some of them we started on, they were there first day of practice. You know, so this was three and a half days ago. Very, very possible that they move around some. So, feel pretty good about us competing in a fight or two here. <clears throat> That's the kind we're going to have to have. You're going to have to have five of them. You have to have over 20 a day to be in contention. And I was putting him in the well, I could see several more on side imaging out there. So, we got Uncle Rick and the walleye crew drifting in. your heart beat too. I thought we was going to have a moment of prayer and you was going to leave it but you never said nothing and I'm like well Lord let him turn and repent and then pray. <laughs> He's guilty. He did it to those sheep. <laughs> I was like he was heavy man when I jerked way out there I was like oh that's heavy. Salmon, you know what that salmon, you know. You don't want 
express yourself. a bigger bait man it went up to that green pumpkin fluke stick which is five inches long four and three quarter five green pumpkin i don't know if it might but in my damn head it did i'm gonna do it again and again and again folks at home having a clear vision through your glasses and your mind is key in life hell i thought it got better when the wind started blowing i mean it <laughs> <laughs> you got those big cricket on there. You ain't playing. Well, I caught a limit on the dang black worm, and I said, "Well, I'm gonna try and get up." Just keep drifting's all we can do. That's it, buddy. I'll make one of them grab it here in a minute. If you got patience just to drift, they will. Whoo! You know me, son. A lot of that ain't in my DNA. I, I, I done wound the blood around today. I done tried everything. Bad luck, finally got me. 
Hot foot broken half up in the river. Hey, well, I ten minutes later, I just broke my half. See you back here tomorrow. A nine-time classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bertie Schultz. Good frogs, buddy. Did you fall? Yeah, almost. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. You catch yourself? Yes, but. <laughs> He's supposed to stay out. Hmm? If he be back with his cameras, he's supposed to stay out. Come on? No, he's right here with you. Yeah, yeah. Somebody run him out. He's staying right where you are. Let me see what's going on. It's always better to ask permission. It's always better to ask permission. Uh -uh. You forgive this next permission. With this girl? Yeah. I saw that. Skinny. So, uh, yeah. I ain't a lot of I ain't calling up there. I got a long skinny. Oh, like a wood. Like a wood. That is one. That is three. He should have got one, but he stayed all day. That is four. Four. I have two bites in there. I'm just going to buy, brother. I've got some good ones in there. What do you think when you've seen them out? I don't know, dude. They look pretty solid. They're good. 16, 3 quarters. Yeah. That is day one in the book. It's about 7.30. We're back at the house, first day of Elite Series on Lake St. Clair. Uh, a little bit like my uh, junior prom. It didn't quite go like I planned, but I got through with it. You know, uh, thought I could get some more bites this morning on DT6 over some of that cabbage grass and on a little bit shallower water. Only got one bite. Uh, had to bounce around a little bit. Seemed to struggle at time. I went through a lull in the middle of the day for about three hours where I didn't put anything in the boat. I got to stay away from that. Straight up got to stay away from it. I did catch one out there, ran up in the river, caught my last one and come back in. I'm going to try to do fish a little bit of some of the same areas tomorrow. I just got to stay patient. I got to stay patient out there that 15 foot and just drag around. I'm going to go get on my uh, two good spots in the morning, try to catch a few fish and settle down. To me, the key is having a few fish in live well and then setting down on them. There's some good fish in the river. I just got to try to sleep on it tonight and see if I want to start up there or start out in the lake. So, day one, 18 8 in the books. I think I'm like 32nd place. Six or eight ounces inside the money, so we got to pick the pace up tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, catch a couple of fat ones. I'm going to throw a little bit bigger baits tomorrow, like this Zoom fluke stick. I'm going to try to upsize my baits, see if I can't get some bigger bites. So, y'all get some rest. I'm going to get some rest. Day two will be here before you know it.